everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm so excited to share with you one of my absolute favorite party desserts. It is always a crowd pleaser and it's so easy to make. You guys are gonna win friends by making this, I'm telling you. So let's get this party started. Because the jello needs time to cool, we're gonna start with that. So get a six ounce package of strawberry jello and combine that with two cups of boiling water. Stir that together until the jello is completely dissolved and set it aside. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit because there's a teensy bit of baking in this recipe. Put your two cups of pretzels in a sturdy Ziploc bag and just crush them with a rolling pin. You don't need any special equipment for this. You can see they're just coarsely crushed. I didn't pulverize them. Now in a medium saucepan, melt one stick or eight tablespoons of unsalted butter, add a quarter cup of sugar, mix that together and then stir in your crushed pretzels. Transfer your pretzel mixture into the bottom of a 9 by 13 inch baking dish. And I like to use glass because you can see the layers and it's so pretty. Press the pretzels down into the pan and then bake at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Once it's done, pull it out of the oven and let it cool to room temperature. Now we can get started on that creamy and irresistible center. Combine eight ounces of softened cream cheese with half a cup of sugar and beat those together on medium high speed until it's fluffy and white. I'm going to fold in an eight ounce tub of Cool Whip which has been thawing in the fridge. Once it's well blended without any streaks of cream cheese, you're ready to put it over your cooled pretzel crust. I find it's so much easier to spread the cream when I scoop it evenly over the crust. When you spread, make sure you go all the way to the edges to create a seal. Refrigerate for 30 minutes. Now we move on to the strawberries, and you're going to slice an entire pound of fresh strawberries. Stir them together with your room temperature jello, and it's ready to top your dessert. Give me a thumbs up below if you like where I'm going with this. It's looking amazing. Just cover that with plastic wrap, refrigerate for about two to four hours or until the jello is fully set. I will see you soon, my darling. <laughs> I'm excited. Now onto my very favorite part, the taste test. And this is very dangerous actually because I don't have a party plan for today. <laughs> Which means I'm gonna eat a lot of this if I don't take it to somebody's house. So let's cut into this baby. I don't think I could ever get tired of this recipe. My husband's probably gonna have to confiscate that dish when I'm done. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> Seriously, you guys, the saltiness from the pretzels, the creamy sweetness from the filling, and the tartness from the strawberries is just a flavor explosion. This is so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up below. If you have a suggestion for a future video recipe, leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And thanks so much for subscribing. If you like Jell-O, you're gonna love the other Jell-O recipes we have posted. Check them out over here.